Last weekend, the third FGS qualifier took place online and FIFA Pro players have battled for the top spot and tried to secure their place in the playoffs. All eyes were again on the 17-year-old Danish wonder kid, Anders Vergang. He was in his top form and unstoppable and unbeatable until he faced Korai from Focus Clan. In today's video, I am going to explain to you how Korai managed to eliminate the Wonder Kid in cold blood to get himself to the finals and what you can take away from that performance for your own attack and defense. In the higher levels, pro players often defend really well and it is very hard to create opportunities against them. Anders is one of the toughest players when it comes to defending because he sees opportunities beforehand and makes his defensive move towards there instantly. What Korai did against this was actually pretty smart because instead of sticking to one potential passing option, he increased the number of the opportunities by making his players run so that if Anders defended one of them, he could play the ball towards the other and then continue his buildup. So, how can you actually do this? You can make this happen automatically with the player instructions within the tactics menu, however, it is important to trigger those runs manually as well. All you have to do is to target the player with the left analog stick and tap the L1 button. Even though we don't see Korai's controller overlay, we can pretty much understand from the behavior of his attackers that he used this mechanic quite a lot. So, let's see with a couple of examples how he actually executed it. Starting the attack off, Korai uses the player lock to get the winger a bit more towards the center so that he prepares a running lane for the player who joins the attack from the back. After making him run on the wing, he turns around and also makes his striker run towards the goal. That will create an extra passing opportunity which is very dangerous and Anders has to decide which one he needs to defend. Since he tries to block the more central one towards the striker, Korai turns back around and finds the winger on his right side. However, Anders immediately puts one defender towards there and closes them off defensively. R9 continues his run, but that won't be enough since the passing lane is about to be defended, so Korai triggers another run for Mbappe and make him run down the wing. Since the focus is more on the passing lane towards the striker, Mbappe continues his run and easily receives the ball in the free zone. One last run has to be made. Since Korai has two players running inside the box and has a decent crossing chance, he needs to find the better one. If Anders decides to defend the far post, he can pass the ball towards the closer runner and in the exact opposite situation, he can cross the ball towards the far post. Even though this position didn't end up with the goal, you can clearly see how effective Korai used triggering runs multiple times in the same position. Analyzing the pro player strategy and how they handle things is one key way to improve your gameplay. If you haven't known already, we also do regular gameplay analysis for our members in the Guide Plus, which you can download for free if you're looking forward to improving FIFA. In the Guide Plus, you can find in-depth tutorials, structured courses, and track your progress on the topics you must struggle with. Our interactive quizzes will keep you up to date anytime. So, if you're interested, make sure to check the links in the description and see what the next level learning experience offers by yourself. On the defensive side of the game, there was one particular thing that Korai did that instantly triggered my interest. He respected Anders, because if you know him already, you will understand he's a master of the skill moves, especially with the stepovers, which is his signature move, so instead of defending him closely, Korai gave him some space. Because if you defend someone too closely, you can easily get beaten by the skill moves, but if you keep your distance, not too close, but also not too far away, and let the opponent do the initial move, then you can stop him. Here, as he's defending Anders, he tries to remain as much as in front of him without gambling while trying to cover as many as possible potential moves. As the opponent sends the ball towards the center, he sees the next passing station, quickly switches towards the closest defender while also covering the current dribbler with the second man pressure. The expected receiver gets the ball but Korai waits patiently without going in, however he gets baited and makes a wrong move which opens up a passing lane but he still manages to recover from it by making the right player switch at the end. Selecting the right defender and getting in front of the striker while jockeying allows him to deny any opportunity and even if Anders goes for advanced skill moves such as shot cancelling and reverse elastico, Korai is able to block him. So anyone you think who is unbeatable could actually lose if you have the right techniques and mindset. All you have to do is to keep focusing on them, which Korai also did against Anders. Creating movement with player runs and defending 1 vs 1 were his strongest techniques, which we also handled in detail in two of our latest videos. They do appear on your screen right now, so make sure to watch the one you struggle with more right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next one, take care and peace.